Hello and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Bridie. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Bridie's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give the dogs while we're working with them, and the training equipment we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and will keep most of that leash folded in his right hand, which leaves the left hand free to give a correction. The correction that we give is just a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll want to keep that collar high up behind Bridie's ears and that will give you the most control over her while you're working her through her commands. You'll notice that Bridie is seated nicely on Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. The first command we will demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Bridie heal. You'll notice that she's been trained to walk nicely on your left at your pace, so there should be no lagging behind or pulling forward and incorporated into the heel exercise is an automatic sit. So anytime you stop walking, Bridie should be seated on your left waiting for her next command. Very nicely done. The next command we'll demonstrate is the stay command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm and the one word firm command to stay. stay. When you first start practicing this command, you'll make your sit stays relatively short but build up her ability to stay for longer periods of time. When Fred returns back to her, he's going to walk all the way around and Bridie should remain seated until she receives praise or another command. Very nicely done. We'll run through the heel, the sit, and the stay again for you. It's important to praise Bridie throughout the training process, keep her motivated and interested in the training. This is a great mental workout, but she should enjoy doing the sessions and also stay focused while you're working with her. Fred's going to leave her in another sit, stay. And this time, instead of returning back to Bridie, Fred will call her in. The command is Bridie come, and she's been trained to come in and sit nicely right in front of you. And then Fred will have a return back around to the left side, back to heel position. Very good job. And what if for whatever reason she doesn't automatically sit, the correction is no sit with a tug and release on the training collar. Back around, back to heel position. Very good job. It's important to incorporate all of these new commands into your daily life, but we also ask that you set aside some time each day to run through the commands in a formal session such as this video. The next command we'll demonstrate is the down command. Whenever you give Bridie the down command, you're always going to want to have her seated first. You're going to use your left hand straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. Fred's going to leave her in a down stay. When you first start practicing at home, you can make your down stays relatively short, but build up her, her ability to stay for longer periods of time. When Fred returns back to Bridie, she got up, so he's going to go back and tell her no and start over. Okay. It's always important to follow through with any command once you give it. When Fred returns back, she should remain lying down until she receives praise or another command. Very nicely done. show you down from a heel position again. Left hand straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. And this time instead of returning back to Bridie, Fred will demonstrate the recall or the come on command. The command is Bridie come and she comes in and sits right, right in front of you just like that, perfect. And then back to heel position. Very good job. And the last command that I'm going to give Fred and Bridie a chance to set up for is down from a distance. Fred's going to leave Bridie in a sit stay. And this time he will give her the down command from the end of the training leash using his right hand and the one word firm command to down. down. And the first time she didn't go down so he's, he reached in and said no and repeated the command. There you go, the ground's a little bit cold today, so I think that's why she's a little bit leery. These are all the formal obedience commands that Bridie has learned while she's been at school with us. It's been such a pleasure having her here, and she's come a very long way since she first arrived. We ask that you call and keep us posted on how she's doing once she returns back home to you. Schedule a follow-up lesson if need be. And we thank you so much for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainers.